Hey, what is up, guys? It is me, a PS4 and Live, aka Apex Virus 83. Come back to you guys for that. Oh, come back to you guys with another YouTube video today. Um, today we're gonna be on a game. Sorry about this. Uh, I have a few pop-ups, cookies, if you may say. They're really annoying. Um, we're gonna be playing a game I used to play. It's right here, but that's what it's called. It's Elements, an old card game I used to always play when I was way younger. I was just on my old account uh, from way long ago. So, this game started off on a site called Y8. For those of you that do not know what Y8 is, it is, uh, it was like a small little thing. I'm pretty sure there's like different like Y8, Y12 or something like that, I don't remember. And there was like different games that usually evolved into something even bigger. But I want to really get you guys into this game. It's a really cool game, and I think I want to teach you guys a little bit about it. So we'll go into like an easy matchup. I usually do level 1 because that's what I'm really at. So they get first turn. As you can see, I'm more of a fire guy. But you're probably wondering why I have water in there. And it was just, it was just added there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get these out. Um, as you can see, uh, these are quantum pillars. So there's different kind of quantum pillars. There's even one regular one that just it takes out three. Uh, so there's three things. There's a regular quantum default pillar that uh, takes out three types of pillars. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Wow. Last time I ever tried to record this, I don't Plan your Kingston week. I don't even care about ads, honestly. They're all useless anyways. You all have had that in your head, I know. I also think the same exact thing. So um, pretty much, they give you energy. And if you look over here, to this side, uh, you get energy. So these already give you energy because that's your sign. So that's pretty much what you specialize in. And if you don't make your deck towards that, it won't really be as effective. So this is my sign right here. And it takes each sign to power up on each thing. So let me go over all the signs with you. Darkness or obsidian, I can't really remember it. Uh, death. Uh, I think this one was underground. Fire. Gravity. Uh, time. Light and Ent entopia or something like that. Uh, air, I'm pretty sure, or flight or something like that. And then after uh, aether, like if you've ever, it's kind of like a heaven kind of theme thing. It's kind of cool. And then after life, and after then water. So there's a few basic ones on here and a few non-basic ones. So for each one, uh, sorry about that. For each one that you have, you get one energy in that one. So as you can see, it's times three. Therefore, I'm gonna get three. But then you have to remember I have this right here, which means I'm going to get four. After this one's a water, which means I'll get one right here. Let's watch and see how that happens. Oh my gosh, I forgot to click into the game. There we go. See, four and one. So um, now I'm going to use that energy to get whatever creatures I can, really. Right now it says what they really have. Now right now I can't even get Aether, so I cannot be planning on getting him anytime soon. But I can get this basic creature I have. So it will look... It, Creatures, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh and all these other kind of card games, this one's a little less mainstream in my own opinion. Um, because instead of you attacking right here, you attack the player. And right now, since it's, it's Haveled, because it's supposed to be like a tutorial guide, you're not supposed to be playing this one too often. You're just supposed to move on to level one. But I recommend playing it a few times just to get up there, make like play like five matches with it, get five coins, and then look at what you can do inside the bazaar, which is uh, known as a shop. I mean, uh, look into the shop, which is known as bazaar in this game. Uh, so then when you click space to end your turn, or you can just click it right here, you do your damage and then you get your power ups. And over time, you have to build up all this energy, known as mana, most of you guys already know what mana is, to uh, get all these kind of cards. And then you can use them to, well I could attack myself, but I really think that that's a nice little feature they have here. Uh, each creature can have their own ability or no ability, so this one's called Dive. It requires two, uh, requires two airs. Um, the, the one right here, as you can see, there's a little meter that fills up. And pretty much, if you have two of those, you can double his, uh, damage for, like, one turn. So, I'm gonna click space again, since I have nothing in my hand. If you have two more cards in your hand, just count out. Just see how many there are, like, right here, and that should tell you how many you have. Like how many left spots that you have, and like how many spots you have until you have to kind of discard a card, and it really sucks to have to do, oh, to have to do that. 
So right over here, I'm gonna, if you hover over the card, it will tell you all their power and everything. The target creature might turn into an abomination, a mutant, or die. He does not really seem like a threat to me at all, really. Mostly because I can just heal back every single time now. He'll practically only be doing one damage to me. But I could easily destroy him if I ever desire. Alright. So I missed my attack. Uh, that's something that happens whenever they have like shields out or anything. So you have weapons and shields. And for your own character, can attack. So here's a little Aether card I have. He does damage to personal health with his own special move while also doing actual damage. So I guess until these wings are out of the way, only flying creatures and ranged weapons can harm you. Last five turns. Okay, yeah, because I was about to say that's kind of oh. OP. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to do this. Get rid of him, and then since I can again, there we go. So that's why also you want to be really strategic, because if you're not smart in this game, you have to give good defense and also good offense, but you cannot just waste all your defense just like that. Now if I wanted to, I could use this card and just sacrifice him to get six of these, and then have all, I would have one of each of those. You'll notice that in your main column, that's where you'll probably have like the most energy if your deck's properly built. And wow, he is one strong as hell creature. My goodness, I can heal back. But right now he's untouchable. Oh wait, no, now he's not untouchable anymore. But you see dragons, they're they I wouldn't really say that each deck really uses them. Well, yeah, every single deck does have them, every single type. Um, but the one thing you have to note is that um, what was I gonna say? You have to note that uh, they they're really just in each and every single deck, and they're just kind of there just for I wouldn't really say looks, but just to spice things up. Like each deck has its like own special thing, but they each are different in variety. I'll tell you that much. Some of them like there is some set stuff that are in every single deck, but then there's also some things that are different. So this deck's very brand new. Nothing really OP. I wouldn't say that my deck's OP at all. In fact, right now I'm getting bad draws and everything. If I were to be facing another, like a proper opponent on level one, I'd be in quite a, I'd be in a really terrible situation. I'm just not getting the cards I really need to get out these guys, who can really mash this thing up really quickly. So he just healed back his health by ten. Right now he's mass producing, and I'm not. And I'm just going to keep on getting pillar cards. It, as good as it is, I'm already hitting max for my fire. So also, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is, um, well, finally, a creature. Um, a list of games that are going to be for, uh, I codenamed it Logs with a Z for Legion of Gamers. So we're going to have a list of games that we're most likely going to be playing. Uh, also, then I'll tell you guys about my own personal content. So, oh man, I'm actually, I think I might lose this match, but anyways, um, a few games that we're most likely going to be playing, the whole entire Halo series, anything within the Halo series, uh, Minecraft, which I like to refer to as MC Edit, if you ever hear me say that, uh, CSGO, Counter-Strike, uh, Global Warfare, I mean, oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> thinking of Call of Duty, uh, Global Offense, and then Warframe, and then Team Fortress 2, and also indie games with like lobbies where we can play in like our own custom lobbies, play against each other, play with each other, any kind of like mini games or anything to have lots of fun. Hmm, maybe I could sacrifice and try and no, I wouldn't have enough. And also my own personal content, I will be going through the things I. These are the things that will. I'm, they're not guaranteed, but they're most likely going to be there. Um. It's going to be the Halo series, Warframe, Minecraft, CSGO, TF2, Overload, which is an indie game made by a YouTuber uh, named Bounty X Snipes. He's pretty cool. Um, he listens to all his people. In fact, that name was given by someone that left that in the comments. And League of Legends, Elements, the card game, the one that you're seeing like right here right now. Um top fives i'm gonna start doing some top fives all sorts of top fives anything that really has to do with gaming i'm probably gonna be doing a top five on it and also update videos on a regular as you've noticed i've already been doing lots of update videos i need to get back into halo 4 gameplay or else well that's where my main fan base really is um so i just won this match you don't get a spin from that
So now let me just show you guys the actual stuff. And the last thing is game reviews. So if I really want to give a game review, I'll give out a game review just for fun. Uh, so that's all for the list of content and stuff like that. So also, I need to talk about a few other things about Legion of Gamers real quick. Um, with Legion of Gamers, uh, we've gone through a few upgrades. So we are, if you check out the YouTube channel Hacks, one of our members, um, he used to be an old friend of mine that we used to do MC with. MC Edit is what I like to refer to it as, as I've already told you. And uh, you won't find his channel if you search it up. You have to look at my subscribers list because um, until you post a video, YouTube makes it so no one can see you. Destroy that real quick and then put out my guy in the field. And also we got another new member, so now we're at six or seven members. I think six members or se no seven, seven members. I'm pretty sure because we just got uh, Tardis Gaming to join. I just need to confirm if you really want to join or anything. Uh, so now yeah, let me count it up. Me, so FPS Pardon Live, Mission Man 63, Hacks, the Shadow Kid 7, Zekai Blue, and T40 Tardis. Well, Tardis Gaming. Okay, yeah, six members. So, really, we're pretty successful right about now. I've also been thinking about making a channel for us called Legion of Gamers. One of us posts something on there once every two weeks or once every week. The good thing about this is that it allows us to, uh, it's going to be like mass produced pretty much. It's going to be like a video every single week or one video for every two days pretty much. The good thing about this is that only each one of us only has to do a little bit of work each time. And yet the channel will still be mass producing with all the YouTubers that you really like. Like, well, if you're subscribed to us, you're most likely seeing this, therefore, you like us because you're still watching our videos. So, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, also, I really, I'm really happy with how my channel is starting to grow. So, I think I'm just going to go back into this gameplay now. And also, crap, he just got a devourer. <sighs> Alright. I probably should have waited because for each damage I take he adds on one extra thing to anyone So any attack that he does has a plus one so he just barreled underground which means he's untouchable completely But it requires energy from his half uh, I guess I'm gonna destroy what's he mainly oh yeah, he's producing in the obsidian pillars All right, there we go So pretty much I'm just built my decks sheerly built for a little bit of I wouldn't really say defense, but it's good at negating stuff, like how I just destroyed something. And also just dealing damage in general. His deck, uh, I wouldn't really say it's too balanced. Oh, I hate these. These give extra XP and stuff like that. There's, no, wait, no. I'm, oh, wait, no, there's something else. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm just, I just mixed that up. Uh, so these shields can do all sorts of things, but it usually has to do with defending you. So this one damages the thing that attacks me, really. It's not really going to block anything. Which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a shield. But I guess it's like a counter attack, really. So he's still barrowed underground. I'm pretty sure for each one, maybe. I'm pretty sure for each turn, maybe, he might have to pay for that. Pay money to, well, no, not money. Pay points in order to keep under that. Well, there's yeah, so that I means every single turn he's been giving up these points right here. You should really know that he only has 17 turns to stay in there if he really wants to. And man, that thing's just scary as hell. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but that thing looks crazy as fuck. Oh, I forgot this is actually a PG channel. Wait, where am I going? This channel's never been PG. I might just edit my channel art and say PG just because I can. Oh, I almost skipped my turn without taking up my boost. Yeah, some creatures can uh, increase their attack and stuff each turn. I'm not sure if they're still currently editing this game. All I know is it's a pretty cool game. It has lots of potential. Uh, let's just destroy Mob City and Towers. I don't want him to have an infinite supply of this, or else that guy's just gonna OP all this game. Even though it won't make a difference because he just he, he can't do anything. Let's just be honest. Yeah, he cannot do anything. His card just thinking crap. Well, he is annoying, I will say that much. That's why I don't like him. That's why I was a little bit panicked when he came out of the field, because I like their field being completely empty, because I like to freaking empty it. It makes me feel boss. Yeah.
I think this isn't gonna one shot KO. Yep, yep, one shot KO, and then we'll end the video off right here. All right, so after I click this, babe, actually no, I want you guys put your fingers on the screen. I don't care if your screen's broken or shit, or if you cut your finger, you're putting your finger on your screen. I don't care if your glass is broken or anything. And you're gonna click this button on the count of three with me. Three, two, one, and we win. So let's spin and roll the win. Hey, I have this guy. And on my other account, I have this guy. And man, this thing looks really sexy. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please like and subscribe. And also, game on, guys. I think that's going to become my new outro. Because really, actually, before I go on, because I usually say my outro, and then after I go on about another thing, and after then I say my outro. So, um, later guys, thank you for uh, liking, I, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, I was doing everything so smooth until now. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, only if you enjoyed it, please click that like button, oh, click that like button, oh my gosh, should I have to do like tape 5, tape 6, no, you ready? <laughs> um, so, thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video, like it, if you didn't enjoy it, don't like it, don't dislike it. If you dislike it, I will break your finger. And I'm I'm actually just joking, of course. And uh, yeah, game on, guys. Thank you.